Hey folks, Dan O'Byrne here, and welcome to the Metabolic Motivation Vitality Show, where we talk about how you can look, feel, and perform your best using science-based strategies. Now, before we get uh, deeper into that, I want to share with you about today's episode. I'm super excited. We're going to be talking about uh, about age management, which is how you can uh, you can master your habits uh, as well as your hormones so that you can age slower and maintain a high quality of life, a high amount of vitality uh, despite aging. And this is important whether you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s or beyond. It's important to know that the way you live today, the lifestyle choices you make are going to impact you in future decades, not just tomorrow. So uh, keep in mind that uh, although science is advancing, we have all these new medical uh, treatments to keep people alive on machines, but that is not really what you and I are probably looking forward to, right? We want to be out there, you know, when we're old, able to, you know, to do whatever kind of physical adventures or mental adventures we're interested in. So we want to maintain cognitive health as well as physical health, emotional health, uh, and have a lean, strong, flexible body. So without further ado, we're going to be talking to uh, one of the world specialists um, who is an Ivy League educated doctor, Dr. Mike Carriger. He is the medical director of a Hollywood-based clinic and uh, we are going to be talking about uh, how you can manage your hormones as well as manage your lifestyle and your habits. So uh, this is all really important stuff. But now, one last thing I wanted to share with you. You may have noticed it's been a while since we've um, since we took our break after our first season, and it's been longer than we expected. And the reason is is you are now looking at a new parent, and my wife and I are the proud parents of a new. Uh, wonderful son, very happy and healthy, but uh, it definitely has taken us a lot more time than we expected uh, to get back on track. And as you know, we also uh, are the uh, are partners in a luxury travel business that deals with Spain and Portugal, and that's been really busy. You know, thankfully the business is better better than ever, but uh, you know you can't uh, you, you can't keep going without sleeping and so the show had to uh, be put on hold for a little longer than normal but now we're back on track and glad to have you here as well so let's go right into our interview with Dr. Mike Carriger. it's going to be three parts uh, so that uh, they're bite-sized uh, bite-sized shows thanks Dan for having me on first off it's uh it's a pleasure to be speaking with you again and um and yeah, so so I uh, what I do is 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 what I call age management medicine, and it's it is a term um, that sort of opposes you know anti aging medicine, which is which is or anti aging, which is sort of has um, a, a lot of kind of negative connotations to it. I think it doesn't really accurately explain what I do, you know, because it's really not anti-aging that we do we're all aging number one you know and uh that's inevitable and um and uh but what we do um at my practice and where i focus on taking care of patients is is um really uh, optimizing their hormones um as well as teaching them a way to eat and teaching them a way to exercise um to keep their quality of life as high as possible as the years go by, right? So, so age management, you know, is, is, is sometimes better explained as what it's not. It's not about making you live to be 120, 130, 140 years old. If that happens, great. But, you know, if you are going to be live to be that old, you want to be out playing tennis, you know, and, uh, and being able to travel and spend time with your family and loved ones. Um, so it's really about giving people the highest quality of life as they age, right? And so what that means is is intervening in a way proactively, right, rather than reactively um, um, by keeping hormone levels as, as optimal as possible to have, have people have better energy, better sleep, better strength, um, better overall mood and outlook on life, as well as um, decreasing their risk for, for chronic degenerative disease. So we're decreasing the risk for cardiovascular disease, Alzheimer's disease, stroke cancer, diabetes, and osteoporosis, which are the biggest killers of Westerners. 
Right. Well, that's uh, that is it's quite an interesting way to look at it because we do hear so much about anti-aging, and uh, I really like the way you have explained your concept of age management. And uh, and you know, I think that helps a lot of people who probably think, oh, um, they they would would think if I live to be you know, 100 years old, I'm going to be suffering and I'm going to have no quality of life. Um, and so they sort of just give up. And uh, well, so what you're saying is that one, we might, we might well live longer than normal, but it's important to maintain quality of life. Um, is, that, is that fair to say? Yeah. And, and, you know, the advances in Western medicine, or traditional Western medicine, you know, I mean, we can We've got the technology to keep people breathing and keep their hearts pumping, right? And we can we can keep people alive for for very long. But you know, you know, most of us, you know, don't want to spend the last 20, 30 years of our lives, you know, um, um, you know, in parked in a corner in a wheelchair, unable to really do the things that we love, you know. And so, oh yeah. And so, um, by 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 intervening in the way that we do, I feel like we we give patients their best shot at maintaining the highest quality of life so they've got great energy great strength you know as they age right that's yes so important um you know you mentioned uh, hormone replacement I, I think that's uh, a, a part and certainly part of your your practice is that right yeah it's really the cornerstone of what i do you know and so what typically what happens and and you know um it, it happens, uh, it's actually happening at younger and younger ages. Uh, really, I have, I have guys coming to see me in their, in their late 20s now who are suffering from hormonal decline and women the same. Um, but typically as we age, the hormones that we like to be nice and high, you know, are energy producing, fat burning, you know, strength giving hormones, you know, growth hormone, testosterone, thyroid hormone, DHEA, vitamin D, you know, those levels start to, to go down and the hormones that we like to be nice and low, which are typically the fat storing hormones and the ones that make us feel tired like insulin and cortisol, those start creeping up and then as that happens, most of us start to see and feel the effects of aging. And so most people by their mid-30s um, already are suffering from hormonal decline that is, has, has manifested itself in, in symptoms, meaning they either their energy levels have suffered, they're having a harder time keeping lean body mass on, they're putting fat on around the middle, you know, their sex drive or sexual function has started to suffer or their memory has started to suffer. And so what we do is we we evaluate our patients for where these hormone levels are deficient and then we re, we restore their levels to more youthful levels. And, and as a result, they're, not only does their quality of life improve with their symptoms, do their symptoms for the most part resolve um, but they're, but they're, like I said before, their 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 uh, risk for degenerative disease is significantly decreased. Well, that's that is uh, really important. So quality of life as well as preventing disease, and uh, I think that's something we all should be very interested in. And let's uh, let's talk about if we can some of your other, uh, along with the hormone replacement, uh, what other strategies might a person avail of if they're working with you as regarding uh, age management? Sure. Well, at my practice, we take a pretty comprehensive approach, which I think uh, is what sets us apart from some other um, doctors who, who, who simply focus on hormone replacement, um, which is, is, I mean, obviously extremely important. But, but uh, our patients that do the best and the patients who have the best outcomes, the ones who also address um, nutrition, who also address exercise, uh, who also address uh, sleep, and they also address other lifestyle issues um, like stress and, um, and relationships, et cetera. So uh, we have an on-staff nutritionist who teaches our nutritional paradigm. There are actually ways of, of eating that are supportive of healthy hormone levels, right? And there are ways of eating that are that, that, that are not supportive of healthy hormones. The same thing with exercise. There's ways of exercising that will increase hormone produ production and utilization by the body. And there are actually ways of, of, of exercising that decrease hormone production and utilization of the body. And so we educate our patients on the kind of exercise that they should be doing. Um, 
Sleep is another big issue and then other lifestyle issues as well. Like I said, like, you know, stress in the workplace, we're all encumbered by stress. It seems to be sort of unavoidable in, in our society these days. So it's, it's not about getting rid of stress in people's lives as much as it is, it's giving them ways to manage it. Yes, by all means. You know, speaking of that, that um, one of the things that I run into and in, in, that I've seen over the years, and it's become even even worse, if, if anything, is the idea that we sort of give a medal, if you will, uh, to ourselves if we're stressed. It's, um, it's like we feel prideful and, oh, I'm so stressed and, and I only slept five hours and I can get by. <laughs> Have you noticed yeah. that yourself, the lack of that lack of giving importance to the, you know, that idea. It's a very Western idea. If we go to, to Asia, where I just came back um, from, uh, from a trip a few weeks ago, and, uh, you know, generally the focus is, is a little more enlightened on, on their side. Can you speak to that at all? Sure, sure. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's funny when you say that. It reminds me of, of being in... in in doing my pre-med studies and being in medical school, right? And it was like, you oh, know, yeah. you were you're right. We were we were proud that we only slept two hours the night before and we're still going, you know? And um and it's it's interesting that you bring up sleep as the example because it's the number one recommend lifestyle recommendation that I give to my patients. Um not only to to uh have healthier hormone levels, but to uh um, to give them more energy during the day and to lose weight is to sleep more. Um, I, I think that we suffer from chronic lack of sleep, chronic lack of quality sleep, you know, overuse of sleep aids. And, um, and, and um, you know, so, so I try my very best to get a minimum of eight hours per night, you know. Um, I'm a frequent napper. I love napping. As soon as I get home from work every day, I take a nice half hour nap before my evening starts. It sort of recharges me. How oh, good for um, you. So I a always siesta. encourage my patients. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know that being in Spain, of course, right? So yeah, um, yeah. I need to, you know, I, I need to you to do it more now that we, my wife and I actually, you asked me how, how I was doing. And actually, personally, I didn't mention we have a new arrival. We have a, uh, um, despite my advanced age, uh, we were able to uh, to conceive a beautiful uh, young boy after some trials and tribulations. But uh, we did it all naturally, and um, it's uh, wonderful. But it is a challenge for the sleep, and I'm availing of the siesta just about every day. So, <laughs> Okay, so that wraps up our show with Dr. Mike, and we want to give him a big shout-out and thanks for coming on the show. You can find him at his clinic, the Body Well Clinic USA in Los Angeles, California. You can just Google that. It'll pop right up. Uh, or you can, uh, you can also uh, reach out to us uh, and we'll give you his information, which will be in the show notes as well. So uh, also wanted to mention a, a new thing we're going to be doing, which is a Q&A program, a Q&A show, and where I'm, I'm going to be answering the most popular questions related to uh, exercise, nutrition, sleep ha- hacking, and biohacking in general, so you can look, feel, and perform your best. And uh, if you want to submit questions for consideration, what you need to do is get on our Facebook group. Uh, just Google Metabolic Motivation on Facebook uh, groups, and that'll pop up, and you can uh, get hooked up with us there, and you can leave us your question there. Also, uh, if you want to fast-track your results and you feel like you want to get a really personalized, expert design program for you, your lifestyle, and your special needs, uh, we do have a few spots for our VIP private coaching program. It is an eight-week accelerated program to reboot your metabolism and your lifestyle habits so that you can look, feel, and perform your best faster and maintain it. Okay, so it's all about sustainable, science-based programming. So uh, check us out uh, for any other thing online at our web, metabolicmotivation.com. Thank you so much for uh, stopping by. And uh, if you'd like to share our program, we'll be uh, ecstatic and appreciate that as well. So I look forward to seeing you in the future. Dan O'Byrne, over and out.